So you're scrolling TikTok and you find someone who's talking about making a massive amount of money selling media, DVDs, CDs, and books. And you think to yourself, maybe I should do that too. And you head out to the thrift store that morning and you walk up to the media section and you see this and immediately get intimidated and just go back to the sourcing t-shirts, clothes, electronics, the stuff you normally sell. Don't give up that easy. Turn back around. Go over here and tackle it. Here's a couple tips to help get you started. You're going to go straight to the DVDs and you're going to go up and down every aisle. You're going to pull every sealed item you find and you're going to scan that. Even if it's extremely common, it could be a special release that has like extra features that for some reason makes it worth more money. Other than just brand new sold DVDs, you're looking for a couple other things here. All box sets, DVD seasons, box sets, collector's editions, all that good jazz, you're going to scan those in. Any black and white or super old movie, Robert Meacham, all that stuff, you're going to scan those too. Some of those can be worth a good chunk of change. Another used DVD that could potentially have value is double feature movies. Back in the early 2000s, you'd walk into a Walmart and find movies like this. It was just two random movies that were similar to each other. I sold double feature DVDs where the actual movies by themselves were only worth like 7 or $8 on Amazon, but because they were packaged in a double setting, they sold for like 25 or 30 bucks. Again, with CDs, you're looking for brand new sealed. Just because that CD is extremely common and everyone and their mom had it, it might not be too common today to find it sealed, so that CD goes from being like a $5 CD to like a $25 to $30 CD. Classical music can occasionally be okay. Orchestra, uh, if you see a CD and it just looks absolutely weird and like no one in the world would even want that, scan it because some of those can be worth a good chunk of change. Also, Wiggles. Always scan Wiggle CDs. They go really good, even used. Cardboard cases in the CD section, uh, a couple things could be going on here. One, it could be a PC game, and some of those are worth selling, believe it or not. Two, it could be an artist's first release before signing to like a major label. I mean, it's unlikely to happen, but it could, so always check those. Now it leaves us with books. I sell a lot of books. You should probably look at selling books, especially on Amazon. You don't want to take all the time to scan every single book. That's fine. Here's a couple things to be looking out for, though. Textbooks can usually do really well, but you need to make sure that it's modern textbooks and not from like 2005. Cookbooks, uh, dieting books, Weight Watchers pamphlets. I've sold Weight Watchers pamphlets like the TV guide looking books for 30, 30, 40 bucks on Amazon. It's kind of crazy. Music books can do really well. Also, anything that's like super niched down. This next thing is going to require you to actually open books and look at them, but you're looking for first edition books and you're looking for autographs get comfortable being uncomfortable.